Hello, my name is Cal, an AEC software consultant here at Pentagon Solutions. And this video is going to show you how to create an existing surface terrain on Infraworks using open source data through Civil 3D. I'm starting off with Ordnance Survey Mapping in DWG form of the area in which we are wanting to work in. I'm going to switch my workspace over to the Planning Analysis, which is also the Map 3D functionality. And in here, we can check our map setup and assign our local coordinates. I'm going to search for Ireland. And the coordinate system on which I'm looking for is the 1965 Irish grid system. And I'm going to assign that mapping. This can be checked by turning on the online mapping. And now we can ensure our area is in the right place. I'm going to switch the mapping back off and head over to our Civil 3D workspace. The height data in which we'll be using is open source data and it comes in the form of a point file. This is shown here as a simple text file showing our E, N, Z values. So I will create a surface, adding the point file. I'm going to browse the location in which the point file is stored. Open and ensure it's in the right format. ENZ is what I'm looking for. I'll select OK and Civil 3D will proceed to build the surface. I've used 0.1 and 0.5 contours, so I'm going to switch the style of that over to 1 and 5 meter. This will make it a bit easier to see. So now that we have an existing surface in place, we can go to our output tab and the command we're looking for is export to land XML. I only want to export our surface data, so I'm going to untick all the other options within there. and press OK. I'm just going to save this locally for now. And this has created our land XML file. I'm going to switch over to Infraworks on which we have started to build a new model. From our data sources, we can import land XML. and we'll browse to where we saved the XML file. This file needs to be configured and the main point here is to double check that it's still using the same coordinate system as we had on in Civil 3D. Close and refresh the file and this terrain has now been added. Put this under context, we're going to turn on our online mapping. Now your surface has been created and we can go proceed and Infraworks to propose to work on our design model. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video useful. Click subscribe to be kept up to date with future videos. You can also follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter.